We are now live and thank you for joining us today. I'm Bridget Holder and I'm here today with the lovely Susanna Grant. And Susanna is coming to us from Scotland. So good evening to her viewers and good morning to mine. Thank you for joining me, Susanna. You're so welcome. So just to start off, I will read about Susanna and what her work is all about. Susanna Grant is the founder of The Grant Method. She helps successful business owners feel good about delegating tasks and responsibilities, creating support systems and structures and trusting their team with The Grant Method. Susanna works as an intuitive coach and mentor using various transformational coaching modalities, and she is gifted at gently poking holes in the stories you tell yourself. So you can upgrade them and open up to outsourcing and delegating like a pro with ease and without the hustle. She expertly guides you and her clients in a gentle, profound and deeply powerful process that will change your life for good. Currently, she resides in the beautiful Aberdeen in Scotland with her family, where she also hosts retreats for those ready to realign, recharge and the results they want. We will pop in the comments um, the details of Susanna's business and how you can contact her afterwards. But I just first of all want to congratulate you, Susanna, on becoming an international best-selling author with the book Leaders. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> yeah, exciting times, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Tell me about your process of um, coming to write the chapter in the book Leaders. Oh, God, it was... Um quite an experience to yeah open up to the possibility of writing um yeah such a personal story because uh, yeah it's not an, an, a way to hold back if you're gonna <laughs> go for an opportunity like this so last year um i think it was october november when um adriana our publisher started sharing uh, the book cover and i was like oh i need to be in there it just felt so powerful and it's like every guide spirit ancestor around me was going woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you know i just had to go for it so obviously i made that happen um and then uh, with the guidance of a publisher the, the writing began but it's um it, we only had about three thousand words just so to summarize your story in just three thousand you kind of need to get to the point clearly and in depth if you hold back it, it's kind of like Neh. it doesn't read well uh, if you put in too much it just gets too long and over complicated so yeah it was um, a time of meditating aligning and allowing the words to flow through and it yeah. did take me a, a couple of days because um, i just signed up before the deadline so i had like i think 14 days to <laughs> put you know my life story uh, in the word and um yeah the process it was really allowing myself to create you know my mini masterpiece for the book yeah and uh, by the feedback i've received so far everyone uh, uh, loves uh, the story uh, yeah so i think i did a good job Job. And based on the results of becoming an international bestseller, a uh, bestseller with uh, all the other women, mm, yeah, you've done a great job, I think. I like how you say you had um, you, your support team, which is um, not necessarily people that are Earthside either. So I think that that's really important. <laughs> that people understand that we draw our energy not just from those that are in front of us. Your um, no, piece, a, more support than we believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your piece is um, directly related to, and I think the first line in your chapter, forgive me if I'm wrong, is the curse of the 20th century first twenty first century woman. Womanhood, yeah. So it's womanhood, can you talk, but yes, womanhood. So can you just talk a bit more about that? Um, well, the, the chapter describes um, my life and many lives uh, from people around me where we believe to be grown up as um, an independent woman who needs to be strong and self-sufficient, which on the other side also often automatically means we cut ourselves off from partners, friends, family, um, the universe, spirit guides, 
however you call them or how you relate to um, other things. And it often results in us completely draining ourselves, whether that's um, when you have your own business or uh, as in, in, in being uh, in a job or in motherhood to allow help in when you're raised as an independent woman. Um, it's often quite challenging. So that's why my work itself is all about outsourcing. But of course, it's, it's, you know, it's a much bigger picture of patterns we get thought, yeah, taught from a young age of yeah, having to be independent, resulting in often burnout, uh, broken up relationships, um, friends and family you don't see just because you don't have time because you're always busy because you have to do everything yourself. Yeah. So we've created a society where even though you have to do everything yourself, on the other hand, you can't do everything yourself because one is often just way too much. Um, so resulting often in working 60, 70, 80 hours a week week, uh, whether that's in a job or a job and at home um, to maintain an, a household as well. And on top of that, the clients I work with also want to connect with that deeper side of themselves. So this, their spiritual side, maybe they want to go do more yoga, do retreats, walk into nature. And because they're so busy with being independent, which we are, you know, thought to be, there's no space for that deeper connection with themselves, which, yeah, don't know if you've ever been there, but <laughs> it's a, it can be very soul destroying if the, there's just so much going on and you just can't connect to that bit of yourself you're you're looking for. Mm. So that's what my chapter is about: my journey, my vision, and how it now comes together in my work that way. Yeah, you talk about some of the bumps in the road in, in your journey and um, one of the significant ones that stood out to me was your miscarriage, but the yeah. fact that she had been with you for quite some time before you actually fell pregnant with her. Yeah, that was a challenging experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for those of you who haven't read my chapter, I describe the fact how... Um, our daughter Reagan came through in, I think, 2012. Um, and the, because I'm so connected and I feel a lot of energy um, and are able to receive the guidance that I get from around, uh, she managed to uh, basically <laughs> orchestrate me and my husband to come together and start our family. Because that re literally happened in months, a year, time. How did everything fell uh, together, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, but once we became pregnant of her, four weeks later, I think it was, uh, um, so that would have been around eight weeks pregnant, she laughed. And that was absolutely shocking because of that almost a year at that time process of her Know, communicating with me, communicating with my husband, getting us to come together, to work together, to you know start that life together, and then she was gone. Yeah. And that was a tough uh, one to, to swallow, as uh, I think many women can relate to. But long story short, um, that put me even further on the path on everything what I'm doing now because of um now yeah. the the healing it required uh, the, the upcoming years with, with motherhood and everything that brought so as challenging as it was it was also very rewarding long term yeah. but at the time <laughs> you, you you should not have said that to me that ah oh, it's gonna be okay yeah yeah and that's a difficult part isn't it that you can't you can't see the tree for the woods when you're actually in that um, devastation that that something like that would bring. Um, I've just never heard before um, that the child was with you before the actual conception part took place. So I, I was really interested to know, you know, how that you know, impacted your work. And you can clearly see that you actually bring that in now to help others, yeah. not just with 
the miscarriage type of scenario with any type of scenario where you have that stumbling block because if I was to look into my past, I could actually see where these historical events are connected to people who aren't Earth side. So I think that that's something that really profoundly touched me when I was reading your story. Another part that connected with me, and I'm quite sure that it connects with a lot of women, is the struggle that you had when you became a mother, when you actually did bring somebody Earth side. Um, can yeah. you talk a bit more about that for us? Um, well, the way I describe it in my book, is that uh, with my first, um, I didn't mind being a mother, but the energy that I felt, it was like there was like chains around my neck that just pulled me to the earth. Like I was literally chained to the earth and it had nothing per se to do with my daughter or a relationship with me. I just felt that energy, that presence just like, I was stuck, I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. And at that time I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, here is that period of a year, year and a half of uh, Reagan going through. And then my daughter who is now turning six in uh, May actually. Um, and then you've got that dense, heavy energy around you. What are you supposed to do with that? Yeah. You know? and hindsight of course wonderful thing um i tapped in to a bit well a lot of bit <laughs> of sacred information of new women who walked this earth before me and what came through at the time was their wounds their pain the literally being bind to the earth because if you're know more about witch trials and um you know there were actually women with chains to the ground so that I felt that way um, it was probably somehow being an empath I picked up on those energies and vibrations but at the time of course when you're in the middle of it it doesn't always necessarily make sense mm -hmm. but over the years when you know, the heaviness started to clear the information from ancestors also the positive ones so if you're talking about healing about potions about information about moon and, and the stars and all that information came through as well so it was just my willingness to move through the pain to actually see what was underneath it was just that whole ancestral support team being there for me but because at the time i didn't know yet how i could just pick up on, on the pain on the heaviness mm. so that on its own <laughs> was another journey, um, which I really talk about in a chapter because that's that's what you know, the angle is of, of the chapter. Because I can talk about this for 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 days and days if if you would let me. Um, but yeah, it's it's just once you learn to connect with yourself on that bit where intuition just wars and where you allow yourself to be supported, where you still can be your independent individual, yet when you know the universe, your partner, um, your friends, your family are allowed to have your back, then we can, you know, we can move mountains. Then, you know, anything is possible. Yeah. But it's that shift I help my clients make, whether that's in business or their personal life mm. and yeah that's what I try to bring across with the, the chapter yeah and you do say you do say in your chapter that you want everyone um I wrote it down you want everyone to be able to give themselves the permission to feel good yes yeah so how does it look when somebody works with you? How, how does that look? How, how does that look for the client? Um, well, obviously it depends on what they come to me for. Because um, with the business, it's when so a woman, um, I do remember mainly women. So for this example, let's uh, stick with that. Um, they're burnt out. They're overwhelmed. Um, they may have had a recent health scare or someone they loved to them got hurt or passed away and they just know that there's, there's more to life than work 
but they just don't know how to make that change because you know they've been doing this for 20, 30, 40 years this way. Um, so what I help them is to unravel the stories we tell ourselves because we tend to repeat the same thing that worked well or until a point worked well. So if you're talking about someone who has their own business, they're ready to start outsourcing to allow help in. We start with the most urgent matter. So say um, she is completely overwhelmed. So the first step we do is help her get clarity. When you work with me, I've got my spirit team guides, whoever is available with me. So any questions I ask the client are coming straight from the divine. Even I say sometimes, I don't know why I'm supposed to ask you this. It sound, may sound a bit weird, but and then I answer the question anyway. So that creates a space where the client can create a massive transformation because it comes all from our higher self um, for, yeah, through me as a vessel um, and creating that shifter looking for. And that's because... Yeah, if you do that co-creation, I have that intention of create, shifting all those patterns. Um, yeah, it's absolutely powerful stuff. And on the practical side, I am personally really technical. So what I also help with uh, my clients is getting um, systems in place, get uh, the workflow in order, um, things that don't belong in the business, you know, we get rid of it. So we create a space where the client can work less, achieve more by being in flow and making decisions from the intuition, from the heart, from the aligned energy, rather from fear and old structures that maybe don't even belong to us because it's from you know parents, the ancestors, cultural beliefs, etc. So we really go back to a place where the client is completely aligned and moves from that point. And once you yeah, manage to get that alignment, yeah, like I said earlier, you can absolutely uh, move mountains in a matter of a week. And in the process, because you're connected to the, the energy of, of yeah, where the world is made of, you also avoid burnt out, overwhelm, et cetera. But it's just learning that bit, that new bit, exploring the, that, that side of yourself that's my clients want to, but never done. And you know, that's where I come in. Okay, that sounds great. I mean, you, you're really going through a process where it's not only you helping them. Yeah, exactly. It's, a, it's creating that support team and whatever the client it is that needs, because um, like I said, it depends on where they're at and what they're coming from. Um, it starts with the business, but it often also translates to them, for example, if they're married with their husband or their wife, to allow them to support them, because there's often some friction there as well, because of belief, like I have to do everything by myself, so therefore my partner is never there for me. Yeah, yeah. So and, it, and it's, it is big, yeah. Yeah, and, and the simple idea of somebody else looking in and being able to help with that. Um, but, yeah, I really like that you bring your team with you. So that's a really nice way to um, to work with people. Um, how can people get in contact with you, Susanna, if they're interested in working with you? Well, the easiest way is I'm either on LinkedIn or on Facebook. So if you're watching this live, feel free to send send me a friend request and um, pop me a message and we can have a chat, see how I can help you. I do obviously the business coaching, uh, what I just uh, described, but um, if you don't have a business, but it deeply resonates, I also provide uh, private support. So mm -hmm. if you're called, make sure to reach out and we can yeah, help you explore this new side of yourself. And where to now with leaders? I mean, do you have some... Um... I think you have some publicity type of gigs up your sleeves that you've got coming up. Um, yeah, I'm currently working with a few uh, journalists on uh, releasing a uh, yeah, couple of articles here locally. So it, it's work in progress, so I can't share anything yet, but it's uh, yeah, exciting times uh, ahead, that's for sure. 
And we will pop the links to um, Purchase Leaders in the comments as well if you would like to grab your hands on that book. It is coming out in paperback. I think that's two to three weeks away. It is, yes. Yeah, so it'll be nice to have a book on the shelf that's actually got you in it, hey? Mm -hmm. Just partially place it in the back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, <dear>. no. <laughs> <laughs> What's that book about? Yeah. Oh, uh, dear. Well, it's been lovely chatting with you today. Is there anything that um, we haven't covered that you would like to share? Uh, no, I think that's about it. Uh, I do also have a, a free Facebook group if you, uh, yeah are moved by the message we shared. Uh, again, just uh, hop on to my uh, timeline and all the information you need is there. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for that invitation. And if anybody is interested in writing in a multi-author book, please reach out to us and we can help you with that. Thanks for watching today, guys, whether you watched us live or catch the replay. We appreciate having you here and thank you to Susanna Grant for being with us. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.